Hi, welcome back. Good to have you along with us tonight. Looks like it's going to be fairly quiet for us. Temperatures mild. We got a light east breeze blowing, so it's going to be a very enjoyable evening. Tomorrow, not bad looking day either. We got a slight chance of some showers, but it's Thursday that we're really concerned with right now. The worst weather is going to be well to the northwest, uh, rather to the northeast of us, back through the Arkland, Texas, and northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, where there could be some very strong thunderstorms. We're in a slight risk area here across much of the I-35 corridor and back over towards I-45 as well. The the big threat right now we think is going to be damaging wind. So we want to keep a very close eye on the weather conditions beginning about noon on Thursday uh, because that's when we're anticipating the stuff to get into our area. Tonight we're looking at a warm front pushing its way from the south to the north across the area. It's the old front that came through yesterday uh, doubling back now and has been the focal point for some very moist very humid conditions for us here in central Texas and a couple of showers that have popped up along the dry line out across northern Mexico and into the Texas Hill Country. For the most part we're staying fairly quiet. We had a brief little splash of rain earlier this morning. Most cases we saw only a trace amount of rain at about six o'clock this morning. 61 was the morning low, 78 the afternoon high. When you average it out, temperatures pretty close to where they would normally be. Here's the big story. We are over seven inches behind for rain for the year. We need some rain desperately, so we're hoping to get the rain and not the storms that could accompany this next system coming in on Thursday. At this moment, we still have burn bans in effect for much of central Texas. We have seen the drop across the Waco area, the Temple Colleen area as well, down towards Cameron, uh, Hearn, uh, in that area also free of a burn ban for the time being. Freestone and Navarro counties, Leon County as well. But out west, it is so dry, you don't want to do any burning. Uh, the slightest spark could get things going out of control. Clear at the airport, 72 right now, 61% relative humidity, still looking at a light north wind at 10 miles an hour. So for tonight, an increase in clouds with this system out west getting closer to us. Our temperatures will be in the mid 60s first thing in the morning. Winds out of the east around 5 to 10. Tomorrow, overcast skies, 30% chance of showers in the outlook. Winds out of the south, 15 to 20 and gusty. We'll make it back up to 88 for a high. Uh, Thursday's the storm day. I'm going to go 60% chances of rain and thunderstorms. We could see as much as three quarters of an inch of rain in some of that stuff. Then it's over with. Thursday night, Friday look like they're going to be nice evening and daytime conditions for us. But as we go into the weekend, look at these high temperatures. 97. Yes, 97 on Saturday, 98 on Sunday, 97 on Monday. Could see some record high temperatures if we get close to those numbers. Salado Cowboy Poetry is this weekend. I hope you'll come out and join me for that. Mother's Day on Sunday. She might like the poetry as well. We've got sports straight ahead. Stay with us.